Billionaire investor Warren Buffett is betting big on semiconductors and microchips. Mr. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway confirmed it had taken a $4.1 billion stake in TSMC. The Taiwanese company is one of their largest chip makers in the world, supplying an estimated 90% of the world's super advanced computer chips for tech giants like Apple and Qualcomm. For more, let's bring in DW correspondent Sarah Lee in Taipei. Uh, Sarah, Warren Buffett's investment firm does not normally make big technology bets, but it often does prefer companies it perceives to have a competitive edge. What does this investment mean then for TSMC? Okay, so it's definitely great news for TSMC and its shareholders. So after the news came out, the share price of TSMC ADR rose by over 10%. And TSMC also told the local media that, quote, it welcomed all investors who wish to buy and hold its shares in the long term, unquote. And it also boosts confidence in TSMC's prospects. So some experts pointed out that it's not very common for Warren Buffett to choose TSMC over Intel, just when the US is trying to build up its own semiconductor industry. And second, um, the Warren Buffett is a very legendary investor. He tends to um, invest in great businesses that are currently trading um, for a lower price than uh, their true value. Mm. So uh, all the situations tend to prove that TSMC look more trustworthy and profitable in the long term. Uh, Sarah, semiconductors are probably the most crucial product uh, in the US-China trade dispute. Why is the United States so keen to stop China getting hold of microchips from the US and its allies like Taiwan? Um, uh, there are probably two main reasons for this. The first one is because the military competition between the U.S. and China. As a lot of people know, a lot of like um, jet fighters, missiles, and also some battleships need these powerful microchips in order to work. So the U.S. is probably uh, trying to prevent China from getting these cutting-edge microchips to strengthen its military power. And secondly, it's probably because of the economy. Uh, um, as you know, a lot of industry rely on semiconductors and these chips. So the U.S. is very likely to uh, prevent uh, China to get these um, advanced computer chips, such as TSMC's products, mm. to um, bring its technology to the next level. Also, the meeting of U.S. President Biden and uh, China's leader Xi on the sidelines of the G20 summit seems to signal an easing of tensions about Taiwan. Has this been a boost to local investment sentiment? Um, yes, but to be honest, it's not a very significant boost. Um, after the two leaders met, the overall stock market in Taiwan only rose by 1%. It's similar to what happened when Xi Jinping and Biden had a phone call uh, during the pandemic. So I would say it's not a, a significant rise in general, but mm. it did reduce the geopolitical tensions uh, as Biden after meeting said that he did not think China had imminent plans to invade Taiwan. So it kind of like set investors at ease because in the past few months, uh, China performed a lot of uh, military drills around Taiwan after Nancy Pelosi's right. visit. And it continued to claim that Taiwan is part of its own territory. So uh, now uh, investors are not so worried about the situation and they are kind of reassured that Taiwan is a relatively safe place to invest in. DW Sarah Lee in Taipei. Sarah, thank you.